Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another full day of eating. My name is Derek from Simonette Nutrition and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys everything that I eat today. <laughs> no surprise, that's what we do in these full day of eating videos. Uh, but it's gonna be kind of a continuation on from the last full day of eating, if you remember I did a few weeks ago. And the focus of that video was just trying to lean out for summer. So I'm sure I'm not alone on this, but you know, after a long winter, I tended to put on a couple extra LBs around my midsection that I don't really want there. So that's kind of where I tend to hold any extra weight, like my abdominals start to disappear as soon as I put on a little extra body fat. So I'm trying to get rid of that now. And if you guys remember from the last video, I really want to try and do it like fairly effortlessly. I don't like to put a whole lot of effort into like dieting. So what I try and do is just try to gently reduce the amount of calories that I'm taking in. And I'll show you guys how I do that throughout the day with my meals uh, and just increase my activity levels a bit. So I'm out here this morning before I go to the gym, I had a little bit of time. So that'd be good to just, you know, get out, breathe a little fresh air, get a little exercise, you know, maybe burn an extra few little calories, but in the very least, you know, get into a good mood, nice and warmed up for my workout. So I'm just about to head to the gym. We're so lucky to have our gym so close to this nice big park. Uh, so I'm gonna be going there soon and then I'll go home and make a post-workout meal. I've already had some food today, which I'll share with you guys what I've already had, but I wanted to show you this really quickly first because we are so lucky to get these beautiful trees here where we live. So these are cherry blossoms and they bloom for like just a couple weeks throughout the year and it is just an amazing sight. I mean, I'm sure you guys know all about them and have seen them before, but just check this out. So the morning today has been pretty typical so far. I woke up, had a whole bunch of water, so I always do, have warm water usually. You guys often ask me, why warm water, Derek? Is there some sort of crazy healing properties to it? Well, no, not really, <laughs> I just like it. And my house is often really cold in the morning, so it's kind of nice to just like have that and warm up. Uh, and then I also had some toast, and usually I'll have peanut butter and toast, and banana, but today I decided to switch it up and I had uh, some avocado toast and then I added this like everything but the bagel seasoning. That's from, uh, this one was from Costco, I think Clubhouse makes it, but they also sell it at Trader Joe's if you're in the States and man, it is so good. So I just had that and then sat down, did some work on the computer like I usually do, just caught up on some things. And then I just made my little pre-workout drink. Actually, I gotta go grab that from the car. Yeah, it's gonna stay. <laughs> You guys are in a tree right now. <laughs> it's funny. So what I've got going on here is a scoop of beetroot crystals. And I also have a scoop of Vivo Life's BCAAs in there too. And then a scoop of maca powder, which is kind of new for me before workouts. But um, I've been trying it lately and I found that it like really helps with my focus. Like I have this like amazing laser focus while I'm working out. I don't want anything to bug me. I just want to smash that workout. So um, I've been really enjoying that in my pre-workout drinks. And then I also put a scoop of creatine in here as well. Usually I'll do creatine in my post-workout smoothie. Um, but but lately I just decided to switch it up and have it before my workouts, see if it changes anything. Just talking to a tree. All right, I'm gonna go and stand in the sunshine over there and just like warm up a little bit, just get my body moving. I don't know how good it is to run after chugging a bunch of this concoction. <laughs> All right, so now to the gym. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film there because I don't have anyone here to help me film today. Crystal's at home, she's doing her own thing today. She's doing some work. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. Might be kind of a boring workout montage, but I'll try and make it the funnest as possible. <laughs>
All right, so just got back from my workout and I'm making a smoothie. So no surprises here, uh, but it just works for me and I love having this after my workout. So I'm not gonna change it up just for the sake of variety for the video. So in this one, I've got three very ripe bananas. These are beautiful, look at those spots. And then I've got about a cup and a half to two cups of frozen mango, parsley, some mixed greens. There's just some spinach, arugula, and I don't know, probably some other greens in there as well. I've got a couple tablespoons of hemp seeds, and then just a scoop of the Vivo Life Ritual plant-based protein. And today I'm having the vanilla flavor. Mm. So that is one good green smoothie right there, man. I love these. So lately I've been, I always put greens in my smoothies, but lately I've been putting like berries in as well and the color of the berries kind of override the green color of the green. So today I decided to leave the berries out, add the mango and just have like a nice green smoothie and I do not regret it. It tastes so good. And look at the color. It looks even like super healthy too. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go and sit down and enjoy this and I will see you guys back in here. We'll make some lunch. I won't mess up today like I did last time and make too big of a lunch so I can't even have any dinner. No, I'm gonna have just like a small lunch and we're gonna make something awesome for dinner. And it's so nice out there today. I'm gonna try and get out and enjoy some of the day as well. So I'll probably take you guys along for that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but guarantee it's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in like the next scene, I guess. All right, so I've already got lunch on the go and I'm just making Crystal and I, whoa, I'm just making Crystal and I a quick chickpea stir fry. So uh, here's everything that I have put in there. So I just started off by chopping up some onions and some garlic and then also some red pepper. I shredded some carrot. It's a really good way to get some additional carrot into your diet if you're looking for it. I don't usually like to just like, you know, chomp on like big chunks of carrot. Cooked carrot, I really like, but uh, yeah, I find this is a really good way for me to incorporate more carrots into my diet. Also some smoked tofu. This stuff is so good. So I just cubed that and that's going in there as well. Got some frozen peas and corn. And of course the chickpeas as well. So I just started by sauteing the onions and the garlic for a few minutes just with a splash of water. Then I added the can of chickpeas and some spice. So today I'm adding this Raz Al Hanout seasoning. This stuff is so nice and warm and fragrant. It's so delicious. And it was actually sent to me by one of you guys. So shout out to you if you're watching this. Thanks so much for sending that. And then I just added the rest of the veggies and sauteed that for a few minutes. So the two things that I have not added yet are the cilantro and the red bell pepper. So I'm just saving the red bell pepper for last because as we know, vitamin C is heat sensitive, so it gets degraded when it's heated, you know, or cooked for too long. So I figured I didn't need to cook this in this recipe. So I might as well just leave it, throw it in right at the end. And then the cilantro, I just didn't want it to like wilt and turn into nothing. So I'm just putting that in there right now. And next I'm just gonna make a really quick sauce for it. It's just gonna be a really simple lemon tahini herbed dressing. Show you guys how I make it. So I'm probably gonna make a bunch of this sauce because I'm gonna need something for dinner as well. So while I'm at it, might as well just make a bunch because I know it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> so here it is. So a bunch of tahini, the juice from a lemon, and then I'm just gonna add a squeeze or two of this spicy brown mustard. And then today, instead of the usual garlic powder, onion powder combo, I'm gonna be using this, and it's just like a multi-spice seasoning. So organic, no salt seasoning. There are all the spices that are in it. I'm sure you can find something similar. These are really nice, but they end up making your food always like taste the same, so I don't use it too, too often. And then a splash of maple syrup. And I'm gonna also add a touch of the Ra's Al Hanout spice, just to kinda hopefully bring everything together. I'm not sure how these are gonna pair, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And then I'm gonna hit it with a pinch of this pink Himalayan salt, just a splash of water. I am using warm water because it does tend to help make tahini mix a little bit better. All right, so that is one nice thick sauce right there. Okay, oh wow, it's nice, it's good. Uh, we can work on this though, it needs a little bit of improvement. And when in doubt, more maple syrup, more salt. <laughs> 
And I'm gonna add some more tang to it as well. I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar because it wasn't very tangy, especially for adding like a whole lemon. So I'm kind of looking for something a little different. Mmm, heck yeah, that's so good. Nice. So there we have it. We've got Crystal's lunch here. We've got mine here. So I'm gonna be adding some seaweed flakes to mine because I don't mind the taste of it. I'm not gonna say that I love it, but I don't mind it. And I know that it has some good health benefits. So I get her down. Crystal takes an iodine supplement to get her iodine. All right, so it's all done. So yeah, my whole thing when I'm trying to like lean out is just eating whole foods and <laughs> eating like foods that are high in nutrients and high in fiber and high in water content but not super high in calories. And of course I'm gonna have some foods that are, you know, very calorically dense, like the avocado I had this morning, the tahini. Um, but you know, for the most part, this is an extremely filling meal with a lot of nutrition, but not a whole ton of calories. I mean, and more than enough calories and, you know, protein and carbs and fat and everything to keep me going, keep me energized, but not so much where I'm gonna have to worry about overeating. Gonna dig into this and then I'm actually, I know I'm gonna start dinner and then I'm gonna head out. I think I'm gonna go for a bike ride, bring you guys along. I don't know how much fun it's gonna be because it's just me. Uh, I'm just gonna do that and then uh, make some dinner. Okay, do, 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 being chilly, that's it. All right, so I've got dinner in the Instant Pot, but I'm not gonna show you guys what's in there until I get back from a bike ride. So hope you guys wanna come along because you are. <laughs> so yeah, let's go for a quick rip. It's almost dark outside, almost sunset, but I'm gonna try and get down to the water, the beach before the sun goes down. This is the whole reason we come out biking. Maya, come here. Come here. Hi. Oh, hello. Don't fall. You can fall. Good luck, guys. <laughs> So made it out here before the sun went down and what a good time to be out here. Holy smokes. All right, so just got back from my ride and let's see how this turned out. Ooh. All right, all right. All right, so we're starting with some split green peas, split yellow peas, some red lentils, and some quinoa. So I'm just gonna give this a really good rinse. So next, I'm just gonna add some chopped onion, a bunch of cauliflower, chopped carrot, and then I'm just adding a spoonful of better than bouillon. This is just like a veggie stock concentrate, so it would be very similar to just adding a bunch of vegetable broth, but I don't have any, so this will work. And then you gotta do it to them. You gotta hit them with the garlic powder and the onion powder, twin pillars. And then just a bunch of water, mix it all up. All right, and then I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of salsa in as well. It's kind of a late game time decision, but there was like this voice in my head that was like, yo, just add a little bit of salsa, it's gonna be good. So you gotta listen to those voices sometimes. All right, so I'll be the first to admit, it doesn't look that amazing, but I'm sure it's gonna taste pretty good. So let me try it out here. Not gonna do it. You guys thought I was gonna burn my mouth, didn't you? No, I've learned from the 40 times I've done it. Mmm, it's good. Yeah, it's kind of a funny texture. It's like a little bit like mushy, but <laughs> I don't know. I really like it. The taste is there. That's all I care about. Yeah, it doesn't look the prettiest. Mm, the texture is a little mushy, but <laughs> it's super good. This is exactly why I love the Instant Pot. Like you can just throw 
whole bunch of stuff in there, turn it on, leave the house for a little while, go do something, go for a bike ride, come back, you got dinner made. Well, not totally made, I still wanna make a couple more things. So I made some zucchini noodles. I don't have to tell you guys that because you saw me do it and you're looking right at it. But uh, yeah, it is a little bit different for me, but I've been using it a bit lately and I kind of enjoy it. It's kind of nice, it's a bit different for a salad rather than just having a bunch of you know normal veggies. So I am gonna chop up some veggies and add it to this as well though. So to add to the zucchini noodles, I just chopped up some red bell pepper, some purple cabbage, and then some purple onion as well. And then I'm just gonna add some of this tahini sauce from earlier. It's gonna be really nice with it. I did make like an avocado dressing for this salad the other day and it was really good as well. Oh, and I don't think I showed you guys me cooking this, but I just finished steaming some broccoli as well. So that's obviously going right in there. So I'm sure you guys already know this, but broccoli is a really good source of calcium. And it's also a super like filling food. You can see it already like fills up so much of this plate and uh, add a little sauce to it and it's super delicious. I'm gonna put that on top of the broccoli, obviously. So I actually have a video where I make a cheese sauce very similar to this. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link uh, like probably right there. So you can make it if you want. It's pretty similar. I actually think it's better than this one myself. So just sprinkling some green onions on here. It's a good way to add a little burst of flavor to just about any dish. So I'm also gonna have some salsa with it just to kind of mix into this as I'm eating it. I think it's gonna be really nice. And then I'm just adding a scoop of hummus. And then I'm just gonna hit it with a little of Valentina's here just to finish it off. And then just a few of the old seaweed flakes here. I'll just sprinkle that on top of the, the hummus. All right, wow, that is looking mighty fine. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Hope I can eat all this. So if I get like halfway through or three quarters of the way through it and I'm full, well, that's it. I'll just like put it aside, save it for leftovers tomorrow and I'm done. So that's another thing that I do when I'm trying to like lean out a little bit is I just don't like eat more than I need to. And I know that seems like such a simple concept and it seems like pretty obvious, but you know, a lot of people need to hear it. <laughs> but that is one of the amazing benefits of a whole foods plant-based diet is that it is so hard to overeat because it is so full of fiber and water and everything that it really is like self-limiting. If you're eating whole foods, it really is hard to overeat. So anyways, let me get into this and I'll let you guys know how it is. So I'll start with the Instant Pot deal here. Yep, really good. <laughs> Ooh, especially with that Valentino's girl, make everything better. Mm. All right, so I think that's probably it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I hope the video was at least entertaining and I hope you got something out of it. Maybe a little bit of inspiration and motivation, but hopefully some delicious recipes that you can take away from this as well. But definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the day, what kind of videos you wanna see from me. If you have any questions about the day or any of the meals or anything like that, definitely leave them in the comment section as well. I'll try and answer them there or use them for an upcoming Q&A video. All right, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you soon with another one. Bye-bye. So my foreshadowing was correct. I definitely didn't finish that whole plate of food, but it's all right, it was delicious. I just put the rest of it in the fridge with the other leftovers. Uh, and I just wanna take a quick second to remind you guys, take your B12 supplements. So this is something I sometimes forget to mention in the full day of eating videos because I do take it at the end of the day just before I go to bed, but I wanted to make sure I got it in this video to give you guys a reminder. All right, thanks again for watching. See you guys soon with another one. <laughs> Noodles are so long. <laughs> Look at that one noodle. <laughs>